you guys, Jeremy from Video Fort here with another tutorial. This time we're going to be taking a look at how to detect duplicate frames in a sequence. So I've got my project set up, I've got my time lapse clips laid out in my timeline, and the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my timeline display settings. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to make sure that show duplicate frame markers is selected. I already have it selected because that's the way I like to set up my projects. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what we're doing a little better. Let's go ahead and select this last clip. I'm going to copy that with Command C, go to the end here, paste it, and you see we get that color bar that pops up. And what that's doing is that's telling us that this clip is being duplicated. So if I were to take my ripple edit tool and edit this first clip, you see that we don't have that color bar anymore at the beginning because those frames are no longer duplicated. Only these frames at the end are because I trimmed the head of that first clip. So this is a really easy way to see whether you're duplicating entire clips or if you're duplicating certain frames. Let's zoom back out and I'm going to select the rest of my clips here. Again, copying them with Command C, going to the end of our sequence here and pasting with Command V. So now you can see we have a rainbow going on in our timeline. And that's why I picked so many of these clips is each color is going to correspond to the clip that's being duplicated. So you see we have this orange one here and we have that same one here. So it makes it really easy to be able to find where your duplicate clips are. And the reason I picked 11 clips is that there's only 10 colors. So once you start getting to a point where you're duplicating more than 10 clips, you start reusing colors. You're probably not going to get to that point though unless you're actually trying to duplicate clips, in which case these colors are more than enough to keep you organized. So as you can see, this is just an easy way to make sure that you're not duplicating frames or clips. And if you are doing that, it makes it easy to keep track of where you're duplicating them and an easy way to track which clip is where. So that's how to detect duplicate frames. Make sure to go to videofort.com for more After Effects and Premiere tutorials.